Alright everybody, welcome back. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to make a DCS skin, because a couple of my friends have been asking me how to, and I decided that making a video would be a lot simpler than going at it step by step with them. Now what you see here is the nose art for an F5 that I did, based on the Kamikaze album by Eminem. And first off, before we even get to the art for any of the aircraft, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need Notepad++ to edit the dot .lua file so your skin can have the proper name on it. You're also gonna need the NVIDIA Texture Tools. Now both of these you can just download them. It has an installer. It'll do it all for you. You get it installed. It'll work. Now to get the skin templates, a lot of them you'll find it right here on the DCS site. You can just go to Download and Texture Templates. You can see that there are a lot of them. Now you won't be able to get all of the texture files from the Eagle Dynamics website. Some texture files you're going to need to get from either Razbam or Heapler or whoever the creator of the module is. And some won't be out yet. Now what you're going to want to do first is open up your DCS file. Go to your core mods or whatever other folder it's in. Go into your, your aircraft that you want to choose. Ours is the F5E-3. You can see all the current skins within the game that we have on our save. Some won't be there because they're not default skins like the X Commander that I have installed. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a file. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to copy it. Now what you do is you go into your DCS file. After that you go to Photoshop, you get the skin file, open it up, do whatever modifications you have to do to it. I'm not going to modify this one since it's already finished. Then once you're done, you come over to File, go to Save As, make sure you have it as DDS. Now what you're going to want to do is open up your Photoshop, have your file open, do whatever modifications you need to do it with it. You can see there are a whole bunch of layers. A lot of these are what I added. But when you come here, there's the cockpit layers with group. You can hide them. You can show them. And to help you figure out where exactly the outline of each thing is, there's the there's usually a mesh file. Go open this up. But what you got to remember with the mesh file is that once you're done modifying your skin, you got to turn it off because it will save as on and it will show up on your skin. Now, once you're done with editing your skin, you're going to want to go to Save As, switch over to DDS, find where your copy is, and then you're going to want to select what it is. This is the nose, so we're going to go with the first one as nose, Save As. Yes, you want to override it, that's why you copy it. Now the best quality I've seen we get from the XT5, the 8-bit interpolated alpha. Save that. It's going to take a bit sometimes. Once it has saved, you can come over to your copied file. You can see it's all the same as it was before. Now what you're going to want to do is come to your description.lua, right-click it, and open it with Notepad++. See it's going to open in this. You're going to want to come down here. You can change countries. You can also change the name. You want to change the name. We're going to call this video example. Once we have that finished, we can go ahead and save. Let's make sure this is also renamed to video example. Now you're just going to want to copy it. Come back to over here and paste it into the file. Now to view your skin before you even open DCS, you go back into your DCS folder. What you can do is go into the search bar and just type in model viewer and come down to application. You're going to want the second one. You might not have this one, but you do. The second one, which is model viewer without the number on it, is what's going to work. You can go ahead and open that up. Now that you're here in model viewer, what you're going to want to do is load a model. What you do is you go to file, load model. To find a model, you're going to go to your aircraft folder, just like you did to find your liveries, but you're not going to go into the liveries tab. For the F5, it's going to be in core mods. Now the core mods, you're going to usually have your 
your Vigans, AV8s, all your major full fidelity modules, and your FC3 aircraft, they all most likely will be in the Bazaar file along with a lot along with some of the warbirds. For the F5 we go to F5, then we go to shapes. Now what you either want to load is .edm or .lods. For the F5 we're going to go to dash three dot lods. Let it load up. And there we have the F5 E-3. Now to get delivery we made on it, we're going to go to view, dialogues, livery dialog. Scroll down and we're going to look for F5 E-3. Once you found it, on the right side we look for where our skin is. Ours is a video example. We load it up. You can see it's the livery that we had on Photoshop. And you can also add other models in, such as you can add a Hornet model in. Hornet, we go to EDM, and there's the Hornet. The Hornet we can move around. Just gonna load a different livery I made. And if you see there, Hornet's loaded in with the F5. Once you're satisfied with your F5, or whatever other aircraft you're making a skin for, you can go ahead and open up your DCS, and the skin will be there. One thing about skins in DCS though is they are a client side thing. So if you have a skin on, you go on a server, you put that skin on, your friends and other people won't be able to see it unless they have it downloaded and installed in as the same name. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave it in the comments. And see you guys later.